Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing fine. And happy Ganesh Chaturthi to you all. So, do you know which uh, kind of painting we are going to do today? Any idea? <clears throat> Can anyone tell me? Okay, Anshika. You've raised your hand. Can you tell me? Okay, I think I cannot hear you guys. So I'll explain what we are gonna do. And hello, uh, my name is Anshu. Okay, and I'm an art and craft teacher. And I have five, five to six years of experience. These days I'm taking online classes. You know, because of COVID, we cannot go to school and we cannot go out. So this is the best way to teach you all. Okay, so let's get started. I hope everyone has joined. Okay, can we start? I hope you've got all the materials. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to start. I'm giving you one minute to arrange all the things. Okay, don't forget tissue paper, brush, water, watercolors and paper. And your black marker, it is very important. Okay, <clears throat> I'm giving you all one minute and then we will start. If you have arranged everything, just raise your hands. So we are going to do a thumb painting, okay? Or finger, we are going to use our thumb, okay? It's very easy, everybody can do, okay? And fingers. These. So now, whoever is using watercolor, <clears throat> they can open their watercolor box, okay? And it's not compulsory to use the same colors which I'm using. You can use your favorite colors also, okay? Whichever favorite colors you want to use, you may use that, okay? So first thing first, you have to take water, your brush, okay? And your watercolor. So whichever favorite color of yours is there, I'm using as of now, orange color, let's see. No, red color. So take your brush, little bit of water in your brush. Just gently rub it on the cake, okay? Do not squeeze too much, too hard. Otherwise, what is going to happen? the brush hair is going coming out. So do not do that. Just gently take a lot of water. <clears throat> Squeeze a little bit, okay? Take your thumb like this and color with your brush, okay? Like this. Now you do not have to color entire thumb, okay? You can see the first line of your thumb, the first line, the upper first line, top first line, till there only you have to color. Okay, like this. Fill the color properly and then on your paper, you have to give an impression like this. Okay, it's very easy. I don't think it's difficult for you all. Anybody can do that. Then again, for another impression, I'll again color my thumb. Is everyone comfortable with English? So again, I'll color my thumb and we'll take another impression like this. I guess you have already understood what we are making. Let's see. Then again, I'm also doing it too slowly. Hmm. 
then again color properly thoroughly everywhere okay and take another one like this okay take the water again color your thumb one more time and we are going to take another impression like this and the last time one more and <clears throat> you can turn your paper if it's not possible to do the same way and then so i guess you understood what it is right now you can clean your brush with water okay because next time we are going to change the color clean your brush properly thoroughly wipe it out using your tissue paper clean your thumb as well and then let it dry okay i hope everyone has done the same thing and then let it dry we'll do the next thing till then now again if you are done we will change the color this time clean your brush properly and you may use another color okay now i'm using bright yellow okay i'm using bright yellow rub your brush on the colors very gently then again color your thumb properly and what you have to do is you have to put an impression above that flower like this okay exactly above the flower you have to put the impression like this okay <clears throat> i hope this much is done okay now you have to take your black color marker okay you have to use your black color marker and now next thing you have to do is you have to make outline like this so the impression will go inside the outline why we are doing this just to give a beautiful look to our flower like this okay and in between you can give a small circle like this <clears throat> i hope everyone has done till here okay so next thing we have taken another yellow color thumb impression there what we are going to do is we are going to put a dot on this side a small dot like this and then a small smiley from this end to this end okay
see, take a look like this. A small dot and a smiley, which is going inside. Okay. And then we are going to put lines over here. Curvy lines. One, two, and three. Like this. I hope you've understood what we are making here. Okay. And two lines, small slanting lines like this for antenna and a dot on top. Okay. Like this. And one line like this. Okay. I'll show you and keep it a little closer so you will understand. So what it is? Any guesses? What we are making over here? A B, right? Isn't it? Now we are going to give the feathers to that bee. So for that, you can use light green color or light blue color for feather. Now I'm using, now you've understood how to use brush and watercolors. I'm using my brush pens. So you can use either your light blue color, okay? Or green color, very light. And then, here, we have to put an impression like this, okay? So the feathers will look like this, okay? Is it fun? Did you like it? <coughs> I hope you all have done this. Now, next thing we are going to make. So for that, I'm using pink color now. Pink color, clean your brush, clean your thumb properly. Using tissue paper. Now you can change the color. I am using pink color now. Okay. Now again, you have to color your thumb. You can use your favorite color. And the next impression where we have to give, we have given the B in this slanting position. Now this side you have to give the impression, okay? For that you can change the direction of your paper so you can give impression properly, okay? Like this way you have to give an impression, okay? So both in slanting position, right? Like this. I hope you have done till here. Now take your black color pen marker, whatever you have, 
and we are going to make feather with using black pen so feather will go like this okay this kind of shape and one more like this like a petal only same kind of shape but small one okay and then same thing put a dot for an eye a small dot and a smile that's it so this is our butterfly okay now you can do the same thing to make more flowers later on okay now the next thing what we are going to make is <clears throat> now you can use the same paper and you can add more flowers same way and you can make the stem okay so what you can do is okay now change your paper and now again we will do very simple thing you can take your orange color again put it on your thumb and take an impression like this okay orange color you have to use take an impression same way the way we did for uh, flower and bee and butterfly now we are going to take same color but this time we are going to change the finger we are going to take a small finger we are not going to color the thumb only a small finger of yours and that too little bit of portion not too much okay so for that you have to put an impression like this okay and the opposite side like this upper side and towards down both the side one more time we will take the impression using small finger only and then we will take impression towards end okay this side this side and this side okay i'll keep it closer so you will understand properly so first we have taken the thumb impression then this side and this side we have taken impression of small finger and here also we have taken impression of small finger okay we just need small small impression that's why we have changed the fingers like this now let it dry i hope you have all done this and then we will clean our brush again wipe out your brush and you have to change the color this time i am using the brown color or whichever light brown color you have you can use that you have ochre color ochre yellow i guess so again we will put color on 
on a thumb. I'm using ochre yellow. You may use any light brown color if you don't have ochre yellow. Okay, like this and take an impression on your paper. Again, I'll use same color and I will color half of the my thumb, not the entire one. We need half of this impression, okay? Just a half of this shape. So you just need to color your half thumb. Okay, like this. And the second impression will go up here. Okay. The first and the second. <clears throat> Half of this. I hope you have done. Now you may clean your brush. Wipe out your brush again. And then you may use a dark brown. Next time you are going to use dark brown color, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, now you have to give impression in standing position like this. Every time we have done like this in slipping way, now this time you have to take your, the impression in standing position, position. You can do like this as well. Okay, like this. If it is light, then you can again color your thumb and take an impression as well. Like this. <clears throat> One more time, we are going to use same color brown, dark brown color. And this time, we have to color our finger next to thumb. Okay? You have to use your finger, which is next to thumb. And then color with the same color, brown color. And above this impression, we have to take this one. So put an impression like this. If it hasn't came properly, color again and make it a little darker. Okay, like this. Now the next one. Again, we will clean our brush properly, thoroughly. Wipe it out. And then you may use any color I'm using right now, blue color. Okay. Or you may use yellow color also, bright yellow. So again, this time we have to color our thumb. Take the color properly on your thumb. And then same way, sleeping way, we have to take the impression like this. Okay. You may make it a little darker. So again, you have to use a little bit of color and then take an impression again, okay? 
and then this time we are using same color but we are changing the finger okay for this we have to use our finger next to our thumb using same color you have to color your finger first and take an impression like this here this side the impression will go towards right side okay you can do it again so like this so i hope you all are done okay now next thing what you have to do is you have to take your black pen okay black marker or black pen whatever you have now here we are going to put little dot for an eye okay <clears throat> i hope it's visible for everyone and eye over here on the first impression which we took and a smiley like this okay a dot and a smiley and then you have to put outline like this this impression and this one like this okay i'll put it closer so we have made a dot a smiley and the outlines okay so your fish is ready okay now the next thing the next one come to next one i think everyone has done till here right you may raise your hand if you have done okay now take the next one using black pen okay we have to use same black pen and now next thing what we are going to do is here we are going to make in the middle of the upper impression we are going to make two small eyes put a dot over there okay and for nose a small triangle but triangle for triangle upside down triangle okay the curvy lines after <coughs> triangle i hope you have guessed what we have done over here we you have to make two triangles on top of this impression like this and then the lines One, two, three. This way, and opposite side. One, two, three. I hope this much is done. Now, what next thing? You just have to draw lines like this, slightly curved lines. Three are more than enough. I'll take it till closer. you just have to draw three curvy lines like this okay i hope you have done till here now we are going to make the legs now the straight line 1 2 3 and 4 <coughs> how many lines 1 2 3 and 4 and then feet sleeping lines small sleeping line 
three and four. Just small sleeping lines like this. Take a look. And for tail, you have to draw a curved line like this, like a slanting S, okay? What it is? Can anyone tell me? Now, I hope everyone has done till here. Shall we go ahead to the next one? Now we will go towards third impression, okay? Now here, what you have to do? You have to draw a circle like this from both sides, okay? And then in the middle, two dots for an eye, like this. <coughs> Two dots for eye and for nose, upside down triangle. You know how to make upside down triangle? I show you here. So you have to make a one sleeping line and then two slanting lines like this. This kind of triangle we usually make, but this is upside down triangle. You have to draw like this for nose, okay? I'm sorry. And then two curve lines like this, both the side. See, take a look. Okay. And then for legs, you just have to draw one line here and another here. Just make this one little thicker. Okay, like this. And now, tail. I hope everybody knows how to make a tail. So it goes again like a slanting S. Any guesses what it is? It's a mouse, right? And now the last one. I hope everyone is done till here. I'll show you again. I'll keep it a little closer. So fish. The first, second, and third. Third one is mouse. Okay? Take a closer look and do the same way. <clears throat> if you have missed something. Very nice. Divyam. Divyam Jain, good job. Nice, Varanjali, good. Wow. Samriddhi, very nice. You've done very nicely. You've complete, completed the entire drawing. Nice. I guess everyone is enjoying. Okay, now come to the last one. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Come to the last one now here on the above impression again for an eye only one dot <clears throat> okay and then we are going to make a beak for that 
a shape of a leaf kind of a shape you have to draw and then one more okay something like this i guess you have understood what we are making okay and then this side at the end you just have to draw this lines okay curved lines 1 2 3 that's it <clears throat> and inside this you can give a design something like this take a look over here so this is our duck right very nice divya good job if you have not completed <clears throat> i am giving you a one minute to complete all the activities which we have done for everyone okay very nice suranjali good job okay then so we have done flower using thumb we have done bee using thumb we have done butterfly again using thumb we have done fish a cat a mouse and a duck okay so i hope everyone has done you can show me and i hope you have enjoyed it also everyone can show me their drawings keep it in your hand <clears throat> like this the way i am holding my paper let me see what you have all done can you show me Suranjali, can I see your paper? Did you like it? Did you like the activity? आपको पसंद आया? Very nice. Good to hear that. So this one, you can complete this. You can make more flowers. Okay, using same thumb impression, right? And you can add up more fl uh, flies, bees. Okay. and you can draw more flowers <clears throat> so i hope you have liked this activity and you've enjoyed so we are going to complete our activity over here have a good day everyone bye bye <laughs>